What are you talking about, Lego? You are very obviously wrong about your own assessment over here. The best U-23 prospect defenseman system is the New York Rangers. What are you on, my friend? And, you know, I'll say this. This is the glory of the internet, you know? We all have the ability to share our opinions with whoever it is that is willing to listen. And the fact of the matter is, this opinion right here is my own. That the Ottawa Senators, when it comes to U-25 defensemen, out of all the NHL teams, have the best system. That's prospects and players on the team already combined together for one package. Yeah, the Ottawa Senators are, in my opinion, the team that has the best future when it comes to their blue line in the National Hockey League. And the New York Rangers are probably up there as a close second, but at the end of the day, we're talking about Ottawa here because, hey, why not? Let's talk today about some of the Ottawa defensemen prospects and young guys that are already on the team because when it comes to the overall long-term projectability of the Ottawa Senators' blue line... I think this team is in a very, very good spot. So, let's go over who exactly is important on this blue line, who exactly has all the star power, and who is going to make an impact sooner rather than later going into the long-term future. Let's start things off by talking about Thomas Shabbat, a guy who I think is absolutely going to carry this team on his back. Now, Thomas Shabbat, the only difference between him and all the other guys that we're going to be talking about is he is a little bit older than the rest. He was drafted in 2015, making him 23 years old, and I get that I was making him sound like he's so old, he's a dinosaur out there, but nah, he's 23 years old, he's still got a long future in the NHL, and this guy is honestly probably going to win a Norris Trophy one day. I think the likelihood of him winning one rather than not winning one is a little bit more than the contrary, but Shabbat, 23 years old, 6'2", 196 pounds, a left-handed D-man. If you're a Senators fan, you know exactly what you're getting out of Thomas Shabbat. He signed until 2028 at $8 million a season for a reason. The guy's coming off of a year where he had 39 points in 71 games. The year before that, though, saw him get 55 in 70. He was only 21 when that happened. But what you lost out in Eric Carlson is what Thomas Shabbat brings. The ceiling you could debate whether or not that's similar in the slightest respect, but at the end of the day, Thomas Shabbat is a number one defender on this team already. I mean, it's the Senators, so they're not amazing, but at the end of the day, he's stuck in that spot, he's gonna be there for the next eight years, and he's going to get better as the years go on. But because he's already an NHL regular, let's focus on some of the other guys that the Ottawa Senators have in their system. And the next one, in terms of, I guess, overall production, projectability short term is Eric Bronstrom. He's a guy who was drafted by the Vegas Golden Knights. Where have we seen this before? Vegas drafting some good talent in their first year and trading that talent away. Bronstrom was acquired over by the Ottawa Senators in the Mark Stone trade and today Eric Bronstrom has 33 games played in the NHL. He only has four points, but hey, you're not really looking at the current projectability with this 21-year-old left-handed defenseman. He's done incredible things in the AHL. He was just under a point per game there. Right now, in the Swiss League, he's playing with the SCL Tigers. He's got five points in five games. The guy scored an overtime winner a few days ago to send his team off to the W column. He's been doing some pretty great things over there in Switzerland and in the Belleville Senator system. He's a guy who projects to be a very capable top four, if not a top two potential defender. Obviously, though, as a left-handed guy, it's difficult to say he's going to be a top two, with that Thomas Shabbat playing in front of him on the depth chart. But, speaking more to the Ottawa Senators and their overall defenseman depth, that expands a little bit further. But, we've spoken about guys on the left side in Shabbat and Bronstrom. Let's go over to the right. No political jokes over here, we're just gonna switch over to right-handed sided guys who play on D. Next up, Jacob Bernard Docker. This is a guy who the Ottawa Senators drafted in the 2018 NHL entry draft with a pick in the mid-20s. This was a pick that was acquired via a trade down. There was the whole Rick Nash trade with the Bruins, and then they traded up to get a pick earlier, which is why the Senators had this pick. But Jacob Bernard Docker was a guy who was playing out of the AJHL. This is the league that Kill McCarr was playing in when he was drafted. And Bernard Docker, in his draft season, was a guy who had a fairly good 41 points in 49 games played. Now, I get it's Junior A in Alberta. It's not the best league in the world. But 
give it two years, and all of a sudden, this guy's playing at the University of North Dakota, had 25 points in 32 games played, was suiting up for Team Canada at the World Juniors, and now is going back over to UND for his junior year as an alternate captain, and we will be seeing what exactly it is Bernard Docker can bring to the table going into the long-term future. But enough about UND, let's talk a little bit about that Team Canada, because the guy didn't really get all too many points, but hey, he won a gold medal and he was playing a lot with Bowen Byram. He was a guy who was relied upon heavily as one of their defensively-minded defensemen over there for Team Canada, and he played really well. Sure, the points didn't come, but he was solid. And as a guy who is indeed a two-way defender at heart, a guy who can really put up the points when he wants to, which has been exhibited in his NCAA play as probably the best defenseman on UND. And a guy who can still play in his own zone too, very capable of calming down the play, breaking up cycles, and defensively shutting things down. You know, it's a very good combination of skills to have. Jacob Bernard Docker definitely is a guy who was drafted out of the AJHL, was never really supposed to be this good, but my gosh, the Ottawa Senators have themselves a guy who definitely may be able to crack a top four spot on the right side for the Senators long term into the future. But sticking back to UND, there's another guy who is playing for the University of North Dakota that the Ottawa Senators do indeed have. He is the most recent draft pick, Jake Sanderson. And my gosh, huh, you want me to talk about Jake Sanderson? We can definitely talk about Jake Sanderson. The problem with him is that we don't really know where he's going to play in the lineup long term. I mean, he's a left-handed D-man. He has top two potential, in my opinion. But what are you going to do when you're playing behind Thomas Shabbat and Eric Braunstrom? Two guys who definitely do have the ability to match that ceiling, in my opinion. You can say what you want about whether or not the likelihood is there, but my gosh, there's so much talent on this left side of the blue line that you're going to have a very tough time playing against the Senators team that has all those guys, Bronstrom, Shabbat, and Sanderson, rolling out one after the other on the left side. You want an extended look at Sanderson? We spoke about him in a video a few weeks ago before the draft, talking about the idea of the Ottawa Senators taking him fifth overall. But... At the end of the day, he's going over to North Dakota. Who knows if he plays with Jacob Bernard Docker? I don't really expect it, but who knows? He's a guy who definitely does, like, everything in the game right. Point production is probably his only flaw. He doesn't really score as much as a Jamie Drysdale does, but everything else, consistency, work ethic, skating, he is elite at a lot of these aspects, and he is such a talented guy that I think it's going to be so difficult to pin out who is going to be the best left-handed D-man on the Senators long-term. If I had to pick just based off of my gut right now, I would say that Bronstrom is probably last, but I love Eric Bronstrom, and this guy is so talented, it really does hurt to say that he could potentially be last in a qualification that we're putting up for him. But finally, though, we are speaking about one more right side defender. So we've spoken about three lefties and one righty so far. One more righty is on the chopping block here. We've got ourselves Lassie Thompson, the first round pick of the Sens from last year. Now, I will say I was surprised to see Lassie Thompson go that early in the draft, but as a guy who did make a prospect profile video on on Lassie Thompson, I could understand the appeal. He was a guy who, in my opinion, had the best shot out of all defenders in the 2019 NHL entry draft. His overall ability to just drive the puck to the goal? Spectacular. Now, he did have a few other issues. There were some defensive inconsistencies and all that stuff, but he has gone over to Finland to iron out those qualities. Right now, he's playing for Ilvis. He's got two points in 10 games played last season. He had 13 points in 39 games played. He's a guy who, to me, has a lot of really raw offensive tools and an overall skill set that would allow him to play in the NHL. It's just the overall commitment, the consistency, and a constant stream of effective work ethic that holds him back from being the best version of himself. If he is able to be in a position where he can utilize his strengths, be in a position to get engaged in the play and keep at it, I think what you have is a very good potential power play quarterback, and that's on a team that already has Shabbat and Bernard Docker and Eric Bronstrom. Out of all these guys, I would probably say that Lassie Thompson is the wild card, but he still is a very legit NHL caliber prospect nonetheless. So we've spoken about five Ottawa Senators defenseman prospects, and that's definitely not all of them. There still are a few more that we haven't covered on the channel yet. Tyler Clevin comes to mind, Tachana comes to mind as well, so we have a few more things to go over over the next few years worth of Senators prospect footage, I guess, but this has been our video talking about who, in my 
opinion, has the best defensive core going into the long-term future. It's the Ottawa Senators, ladies and gentlemen. Talk to me in the comments what you think about Thomas Shabbat, Eric Bronstrom, Jake Sanderson, Jacob Bernard Docker, and Lassie Thompson. I hope you enjoyed this edition of the Trolls 99. And bye. <laughs>